Out on my uh, afternoon walk, I want to uh, talk about the death of a nation, Dines de Souza, de Souza movie. I went to see that last night, and it was awesome. Uh, you could tell that he did a lot of research. He really did a lot of work, uh, and you could also tell uh, by this movie. What this movie revealed is how the Democrat Party has put a lot of effort into concealing uh, their racist past. Uh, and when you have ownership of the, uh, the media, the, the academia, you, know, it, you can see how easily they were able to do that. Uh, in fact, I uh, have listened to a lot of the Walk Away uh, YouTube videos, and I was amazed that some of the people have said that they were taught in school uh, that uh, the Democrats freed the slaves and uh, Lincoln was a, a Democrat. And I was like amazed that they were teaching that in school, but uh, it's easy uh, to see how the Democrats have been able to conceal their past and try to like rewrite history and uh, shift blame to the Republican Party. Because you know they have, uh, they control the media, they control the academia. Uh, but this movie uh, was an excellent movie. Now, if you're looking for action and suspense, you know, you're not going to have that because this is a history movie, and I, I love history. I'm a history buff, and uh, so it, it takes you, you know, step chronologically uh, what went on, but it, it shows the parallels. I'm not going to give you too much detail, uh, too many details, because I want everyone to have an opportunity to go and uh, see the movie for themselves, uh, but uh, it shows the parallel between the, the Nazi party and the Democrat party, and of course, uh, what we learn in this movie is that the, the Nazi party and Hitler, they uh, uh, used uh, the, as a template, they used the Democrat party's uh, policies as a template for theirs. For instance, for genocide, they used uh, Margaret Sanger, uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, to get rid of the undesirables. Uh, the undesirables in uh, Germany, uh, uh, the Jews undesirable was anybody with a disability. Uh, Anybody they wanted to exterminate, the, uh, anybody any kind of disability. Uh, Margaret Sanger wanted to uh, get rid of the blacks. The black people were undesirable, the black babies. So they, uh, they used uh, Margaret Sanger's uh, Planned Parenthood uh, as a template. Uh, they used, uh, this is uh, interesting, they used the uh, southern slave plantations as a template for uh, the concentration camps for the Jews as a template. So they used that. So this movie uh, did a lot of damage to the Democrat Party, and I think they know that. Uh, but it's time uh, that the truth comes out. The people need to know the facts. And uh, I think this will, uh, and I, I encourage everyone to go see it. Uh, but one thing that uh, struck me, and, and I'll, I'll, you know, I won't hold you too long, but the one thing that really struck me was the parallel, the, 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 the uh, similarities between Nazi Germany and the Democrat Party today, as far as the media, uh, because it was just a young lady named uh, Sophie Scholl, S uh, S C H O L L. That so you can um, Google her and look at the uh, some of the YouTube videos. But her father was a uh, uh, anti-Nazi, and you couldn't speak out against Hitler. And, and her father used to speak out a lot against uh, against Hitler and, and his regime, and so he was arrested for that. Well, when she became an adult, uh, she realized, because see, Nazi owned the, the media, uh, uh, state-run media, okay? So no, the citizens didn't even know really what was going on. So she took it upon herself and her friends to write this newsletter, this publication, to try to get the message out to the, the citizens to know what Hitler and his uh, army were really doing to the Jews. So she took it upon herself and she, she uh, wrote this newsletter, and she and her friends went to the university, uh, university in uh, Munich uh, and distributed all these uh, flyers and uh, trying to get the message out. And I felt like that's what we are doing uh, as a 20, uh, on Twitter because uh, we don't have an unofficial government run uh, media, but we already know that who owns the Democrats own the media. So the only way that we can get the message out is we have to get on Twitter. So I felt like I, I was her. Today's uh, Sophie Scholl, I am, and well, you are, and everybody, all the citizens and all the patriots that tweet uh, and retweet newsletter, uh, news information. We wouldn't have known about uh, Peter Strzok and Page and, and all this stuff had it not been, because you know, the, the, we have Fox and we have ONA, what is OAN, you know, that's a couple, but 
or without them, you know, nothing would get out. And then so it's up to us citizens, uh, we citizens. So what happened with uh, Sophie Scholl, she was beheaded for that, uh, for getting that information out and trying to, trying to distribute it and give it to, so the citizens would find out what the, what the Nazis were really doing to the Jews. And so uh, that's just my take. I really enjoyed the movie. I think everybody should go see it. Uh, and I thank God. I just want to say this, and I think we should all, and if you're a believer, we should pray for uh, Dines De Soso, uh, De Souza, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, and his wife, because God sent him to do this. Because, you know, we work every day. We don't have time to do all this. But he took his time. He could do it. He could uh, put this movie together. He could do all the research. So I think he's a God sent, just like President Trump is a God sent. Uh, to save America. President Trump is saving America just like Lincoln. And the parallel, I mean, I just, just can go on and on about how uh, good this movie is and how well it was, uh, it, it exposes the Democrat Party and how well, uh, how it parallels uh, Lincoln and, and, and uh, the job that President Trump has to save America. Lincoln saved us. And this is another thing before I go. Uh, he had said, this, this really brought it home to me, had Lincoln not won the Civil War, we wouldn't have been able, as America, we wouldn't have been able to go over there and, and free the Jews uh, from Nazi Germany. Because, you know, uh, the South had succeeded from the Union after, after uh, Lincoln won. Uh, and, you know, we had, uh, at the presidential candidate, uh, we had Lincoln, the, well, the North, uh, the Republicans had Lincoln, and the Democrats had Douglas and another guy, because the North and the South had two different political candidates, uh, presidential candidates. So it was three presidential candidates during the 1860 election, and, and, and uh, Lincoln won. And had Lincoln not won, you know, we, and there's no telling what would have happened, because like I say, we never would have gotten the Union back together, because it had already conceded. Or well, after he won, uh, they succeeded. But had he not won the Civil War, had he not won that war, uh, we might have, not have been able to win uh, and free the Jews uh, in the 1930s, uh, whatever. We just, it, we just wouldn't have. So history uh, is very important, and I think everybody should always study history. And I thank God that I live in a country that uh, I'm free, and we're free. We're free, to, uh, even though we might, uh, the media is uh, Democrat controlled or whatever, but we, 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 we have the internet. And we have Twitter, even though we're shadow banned. But it's up to you and me to get the, the word out to the citizens about what's going on in this country. And it's up to you and me to pray for President Trump, his family, his administration. It's up to us, you and I. I thank God every day. Have a blessed day.